welcome to this Sunday prayer once again. We are gathered from different parts of the world to worship our Lord, to adore our Lord. So my dear friends, today we're going to start with a song that Tingu uh, is going to sing for us. Jesus is the way maker for us. Jesus is the healer for us. He is the miracle worker for in our life. Probably our ways may be our blocked or we may be facing some issues in our way. So he is the way maker for us. So let us join with the Tingu uh, in this worship song. Even if you don't know the chorus, even if you don't know the, um, even if you don't know the uh, music, don't worry. Join with him and uh, uh, try to be, try to, try to, and Lord will help you. Jesus, you are the King. You are. Jesus is here. You are here working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Yes, we worship you, Jesus. You are here. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. Jesus, you are moving in my family. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Jesus moves in your family. Jesus moves in your house. Yes, my God, that is who you are. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yes, Lord, you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. My dear friends, I encourage you to open your hands like this. You are here, healing every heart. Close your eyes. I worship you. And say, I worship you. You are here. You are here. Turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Jesus is here. Healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving around us, turning around us. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. I love you, Jesus. You are here. Now you can bend every Simply, simply clap.
We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Close your eyes. Never stop. You never stop. Put your own hands on your chest. Never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. He's working in your body. When I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop. You never stop working. My father is always working. I'm working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Way make miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is. Lord Jesus, I'm praying for the healings and wonders in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord Jesus, who are is current suffering with the asthmatic problems or allergic problems, touch them and heal them now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord Jesus, touch and heal your people, those who have allergic and asthmatic problems. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. That's who you are. That's Jesus walking in our midst, healing us tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A person who is uh, attending this program from the hospital or a hospital side or expecting a ho uh, waiting for hospital things has a broken uh, ribs. Lord is touching for that person and comfort him and uh, giving some pain relief. And asking him to please follow his doctor's advices with regards to that. We are praying for your healings, especially fast recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for those who have a, a broken ribs. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Be healed in Jesus' name. By the power and merits of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we are walking on our midst. Jesus. 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 Heal your people now. Jesus. Jesus. Miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. By the power and merits of Jesus we pray. Touch and heal your people now, Lord. Jesus name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My dear friends, put your own hands on your head. We are going to pray for uh, several sickness on your body. Put your own hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Lord Jesus, touch and heal your people now. Whatever sickness that they are going through. Heal them now, Lord. In the mighty name of your name, we are praying, Jesus. Heal your people. Heal your people. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are the healer. 
in Jesus name we trust be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name right to work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are in Jesus name Be healed in Jesus. Light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Be healed in Jesus. Jesus name, we trust. Jesus name, we trust. In Jesus name, we trust. In Jesus name, we trust. Jesus name, we trust. Lord, I am praying for all of them, Lord. Healing and wonders in Your name. Be healed in Jesus. That is who. That is who you are walking in our house now. That is who you are walking in our room now. That is who you are walking in our life now. That is who you are walking over the water. That is who you are in the midst of the homeless. Lord, I am praying for each one of them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. 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 Jesus name light in the darkness thank you Jesus. my god that thank you, Jesus. is who you are thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus amen 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 praise the lord my dear friends once again you are welcome to uh, this sunday prayer so we're going to continue the the word of god session after this session we will uh, carry on with the the healing prayer again so listening this word of god uh, let us examine ourselves and go deep uh, as a preparation for um, um, uh, for the, uh, the upcoming uh, london season so uh, in john chapter 2 verse 23 to 25 jesus didn't believe some people that is what i took as a main uh, main theme of today why jesus didn't believe so and we today we are going through some of the incidents that jesus don't believe some people but some some area is believes the people so we going to examine some of the area that how can i be a faithful person in uh, with jesus okay so look at the screen you can see john chapter 2 verse 23 and 25 23 to 25 when he was in the jerusalem the passover festival many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing many people were believed just because of the signs he he did it among them and that faith didn't grow in them to the next level which means the eternity or which means the the eternal food the word of god and the eucharist so jesus didn't believed and but he jesus on his part would not entrust himself to them because he knew all people and he needed no one to testify about anyone for himself knew what was in everyone the people who believed in jesus just because they saw some testimony they saw some healings and wonders around. but jesus visited in need any any of his testimony or anything to believe them because he knows what they need what why they are believing it and he looks on how deeply you are you and me are taking these signs and wonders to change our own life how deeply we are carrying these signs and wonders sharing with others maybe sharing a link or sharing a, a testimony of yourself with others and inviting them for the listening of word of god and eucharist then god is saying that you are growing to the next level otherwise we are still standing and waiting for i want more signs i want more wonders in my life to believe the existence of jesus christ and to believe the the power of the word of god to believe in eucharist i want some more signs so my dear friends here jesus is didn't believe those who are seeking just for, follow him for signs if we look on the next paragraph john 6 verse 25 to 27 we can see jesus um, you know multiplied the 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 fish and loaves but what happened is the people were uh, so sad so happy but when they were searching for jesus in other place they found and they were asking a question to jesus this is the background of this passage 
when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? And Jesus answered them, very truly tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the fill of the loaves. So this is a worse case than the signs. Some people are following him just for the signs, but some people are following him just for the food or just for some of the, for the satisfaction of this world. I need a, a new car. I need a new house. I need a new job. I need a new uh, clock or I, I need something. Of course, we, we all need this. But if you are following Jesus just for this, then we are one among these people. So my dear friends, that what we have to follow. Of course, we need to pray for that. The Lord will grant it, but this put it as a secondary. And the search for the kingdom of God. How can I search for the kingdom of God? Through the scriptures and through the, sac the sacred traditions. So which means through learning of the word of God and to go deep in the sacraments, we are growing. We are growing slowly, slowly in searching the kingdom of God and we are in the kingdom of God. So my dear friends, very truly, truly I tell you, we are looking, no, we, you, are lo you are looking for me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate the pill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes. This is what Jesus is saying. But for the food endures for the eternal life. So these two food is endures us to the eternal life. We cannot separate the word of God and the, and the, uh, the Eucharist or the, uh, the, uh, the sacraments. So these two food endures us for the eternal life. So which the Son of Man will give you for it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. So my dear friends, let us ask Lord, Lord, I need to grow in kingdom of God. Reading Bible and go deep to receive the sacraments in holiness. So this food, what we are, we are to be searched for the eternal food, not for the food that perishes, which means the, not for the goods that are perishes, but we have to look for the good, the goods that are non-perishable or that we can take it into the eternity. That is our, our fasting, our uh, penance and all these things that we are doing it. So my dear friends, let us ask Lord, how can I, how can I grow? So how will you will trust me? I need to increase this. Let us go through the, the bridegroom example, the 10 bridegrooms. Uh, sorry, um, let's go through the Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 24. Here you can see some people are listening the word of God, but not obeying. They are hearers, but not they are not doers. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. So we said that we have to be growing kingdom of heaven, but God is saying that, Lord, Lord, everyone is calling Lord, Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, but will not enter in the kingdom of heaven. But how, who will be entered? The God is believing this, whoever is trying to attempt it through the narrow door. Everyone likes the broad way, but we, we, we all are working for the, we all are thinking about how can I make it in a broad way. But Jesus said, Jesus called us to enter through the narrow way. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did not, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and to do many deeds of power in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. So my dear friends, if you are listening to the word of God and trying to grow in the power of the word of God, and if we are not building on the rock, if we are not building the, the what we are listened, what we are hearing, if we are not practicing and building in our personal life, that is the narrow door. That is the narrow door that we are trying to enter into. Everyone who hears these words of mine and act on them be like a wise man who build his house on the rock. This is what Lord is calling us. 
this is what lord is calling us uh, uh, tonight to to grow in this spirituality to build our uh, our own uh, uh, the brokenness uh, uh, to rebuild us in in jesus christ so my dear friends let us surrender this life and let us be a person faithful to god so that he will listen he will know your voice the the true sheep's voice the shepherd will know your voice when you knock he will open the door for you and me so my dear friends this is what this is what happened for uh, uh, the bridegroom's parable you can see on the next screen matthew 25 words 11 to 13 later the other bridemaids came also and saying lord lord open us but he replied truly i tell you i do not know you keep away therefore for, therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour so my dear friends here jesus is telling us prepare ourselves and be alert and be open our eyes and be alert and be with him and ready for him and this London time we are preparing, we are entering into the London uh, season so, uh, in a couple of days. So this London time, let us examine ourselves. Please go through the, the previous episodes and uh, try to uh, try to meditate on the word of God which likes and which, which is asking some changes in your life. And go through that. Prepare for confession and prepare for the, the uh, receive the, uh, the, uh, the, the sacraments in holiness. And truly, truly, I tell you that otherwise, when we knock the door, Jesus may said, I do not know you. Even if we said, Lord, Lord, even if we said, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, but God will not know you. So my dear friends, let us be a person, a simple person that Lord is welcoming. When you, when you look at Jesus' time, he was welcoming the children because they are innocent. And he said, anyone who is who would like to become like a child, then only they can enter into the kingdom of heaven. So my dear friends, we can surrender all these things and let us be a child, an innocent person and sit before the word of God and sacraments to receive it. Here the bride, uh, the, the, the five wise and the five foolish uh, bridemaids. The wise uh, bridemaids, what happened is they took the oil with their lamp. So let us finish. This is the time that we are preparing ourselves. The next 40 days, we're going to prepare ourselves for the, for the growing in, in, in grace. So prepare ourselves in this 40 days and to grow in the uh, spiritual way. And in Psalms 1, verse 1 to 3 says, Happy are those who, who do not follow the advice of the wicked to take the path of the sinners and sit in this sit in the seat of the scoffer. So my dear friends, these are some of the examples Word of God is inviting us to, to stop some friendship, to stop some uh, bad uh, connections, to, to run away from some of the uh, area that we would like to stop. And uh, let us be a person who is planted in the, the streams of water, which means in the Word of God and in the Eucharist. So let us read the Bible daily and receive the sacrament in holiness as much as we can during this time of Lent. And let us be a fruitful person, a fruitful person in the family and in the place where we are planted. So let us come to the final uh, word of God in Revelation 3, 8 to 11. Here it is saying, here it is saying, Jesus was so happy with a group of people in, uh, uh, in the Revelations. A place a church in the in the in the revelations here why they are uh, they are uh, god was so much pleased in them because they using their discerning discernment to understand who is good and who is evil he was they were they were they were uh, wise enough to understand the scripture change their life and to say no to the people who were dragging them even if they are leaders maybe political leader or other leaders or any leaders, even if the, somebody who has been a spiritual leader, even if that person, and understand them, discern him, whether he is speaking against the teachings of the Catholic Church, then deny him, ignore him, 
and we don't have to follow that person's advice this what this is what happened in revelation 3 verse 8 to 11 and they were they were holding the hands of the word of god they were holding word of god in their life to practice the word of god to live according to the word of god so the word of god is promising them that because you have kept my word of patient endurance i will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to test the inhabitants so my dear friends let us be hold our heart in jesus christ so jesus will trust you and me and open the doors for us but some people just say saying that i didn't believe them but some people say that i am with them so this is the difference so let us walk walk in the light of the scripture and the teachings of the church close your eyes we going to pray for a couple of healings in your life put your own hands on your chest lord jesus i am praying for uh, the people who are in need of a healing prayer right now especially those who are uh, worried about their work or a uh, business area in the mighty name of jesus we pray lord jesus help those people right now in jesus name we pray lord i am praying for the students who are worried about their uh, education or uh, things like that or their university problems in the mighty name of jesus we pray in jesus name i pray lord grant it according to the will of god in jesus name we pray by the power and merits of jesus we pray in jesus name in jesus name we pray 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 my dear friends now we going to pray for uh, um, all your prayer requests that are typed in youtube or in uh, zoom so please surrender uh, all your prayer requests in uh, in youtube so we going to pray for all this all of the prayer requests in, in in youtube lord jesus you are here you are in youtube you are in their house you are the miracle worker you are the promise keeper thank you jesus thank you jesus touch and heal your people right now God grant it according to the will of God. The mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. By the power and grace of Jesus. In Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus' with a mouth cancer or mouth this uh, severe problems in the mouth area and we going to pray for that person now in the mighty name of jesus and the lord is asking many people to stop smoking that's not good for your health in jesus name, in the mighty name of jesus the power and the grace of jesus in jesus name, in jesus name we pray for jesus heal your people now sara the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name for the mighty name of Jesus Jesus name amen let's ask the intercession of our lady hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen praise the lord thank you very much please share the link with your friends and families uh, and invite others for the program good night or good morning wherever you, wherever you are thank you bye bye